Um, hey guys, my name's Chris and I would like to show everyone my new workflow for documentation. So, I personally do a lot of tests um, because it's the only way that I remember code written a long time ago. Um, tests are nice because they describe what each function does as opposed to how it goes about doing it. So, it is more high level and I find them much more readable than doc strings because I can see what's actually happening. Um, so my favorite test library is Midge and uh, the library is here. This is, this is the Midge website. So uh, if I run line Midge auto test in my directory. Now, now this this is a existing um, library that I wrote um, to to deal with state, and um, right now it doesn't have too much in the README because I I have some gripes with it. Um, my, my three main gripes of doing documentation and I think it's really a futile exercise and um, so, so my three gripes are that uh, no one wants to read unit tests so my unit tests are actually pretty good and you know if, if, if I put on, the, put on my readme or oh, for documentation please read unit tests everyone's gonna laugh and you know I just rather not put them on at all and um, most of the time in my readme I just copy and paste my unit tests anyway but then what happens is I, I change my tests um, or I, I change some functionality of the library and and then a worse thing happens is then now I don't even know whether what I've copied and pasted in the readme is correct so I have to do this all the time go back and forth you know cutting and pasting checking whether it's correct um, and I don't want to do that. And third of all, I just hate numbering chapters and sections. Um, I mean, sometimes I make a new section and then I have to go back and, you know, like, oh no, I have to number it one, two, three, and now there's an extra section between three and four, so I have to call it either 3A, 3B, or go number for another number, um, and it's just very annoying. So I, I wrote line midge doc. Uh, the website is here. It's under my GitHub Z coordinate uh, slash line midge doc, and and it has three major features. Um, it, it makes your unit tests prettier. It works alongside midge, and there's latex like numbering support for chapters, sections, and figures. I, I would like to add in more features, but I find that this is enough for now for me to do my documentation. So let's let's give that a go. Um, and right now you can see that the index.html is blank because I purposely did that. Um, I've got a project.clj uh, inside. I put uh, the uh, sort of like an entry um, to, to hook into the project um, and in it it's got an input test file the title, the subtitle, um, the names, um, my, my name and my email so let's just go ahead and start line midge doc uh, line doc and that's going to start and it's going to take in line midge doc uh, yep and right now uh, it's got nothing in it um, this is the same file here in Emacs so I am going to write something so let's just go um, string hello world I'm going to press save and 
it, it, it doesn't do anything. So let, let's let's put this in a fact so we can check it. Um, oh no. So I forgot the REPL. So let's open up the REPL. We'll, we'll wait a little bit. And it is going to output. Let's do this. String hello. to output me hello world okay so so now it's a fact um, and I press save and you can see here that um, the the midge just automatically checks that you know this test is true so, so if I change it here uh, this will say you know my check failed and yeah um, I'll, I'll just put it back now two things happen one um, midge checks the test but another, th but another thing happened in that um, index.html is being generated. So if I come over here and just reload the page, you'll see that um, the fact actually gets rendered as a nice code example with um, numbering. Uh, so now let's put in... Um, some syntax. Uh, line uh, midge line doc. It has some special syntax in order to render different elements um, as HTML. So I'm I'm going to put in the title. It says um, introduction. Um, and also another thing I'm going to do is to turn on live reload. So I've already got live live reload the the over directory in um, in the live reload program so I'm just going to turn it on the browser hit refresh and you can see now that every time I do a save um, it will refresh and so we've got an introduction um, and I can define say add five so, so you can see here that as I'm programming Midge will be able to tell me um, what's wrong well, actually, as I'm doing my examples here, um, Midge will be able to tell me what's what's wrong with my uh, program, um, and say um, if I just do add five and add six, uh, you can see here that the samples get automatically put on here. Um, and then I can I can check it in here. Add six, uh, ten. Um, we'll go to um, sixteen. Now you can see that now there are two tests, um, and I've I've automatically generated my. Uh, my code. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna turn fact into facts. Um, so I can put multiple facts um, alongside it. Now I'm gonna give this a label. Title uh, um, example one. I don't really have a good title for this. And you can see here that, that it's labeled. Um, and, and I can also add a title in here. Title uh, 
functions. So now, now these are these are formatted nicely, and I can add some text. Is function definitions. These are a few. This is how they are used. Um, Here we go. So, um, now you can see how easy it is to generate um, our documentation and also have a correct because you know that if, say, the definition of add six changes, well, you know, like I'm going to add 6.0 to it. Um, I'm not sure. So, so now um, it's not going to work anymore. But I, I still, you know, like in the olden days, if I had my documentation, um, I wouldn't know that this documentation here is not correct. But now I do because it's linked with my test files. So immediately I can just fix the mistake and bang. You know, the the tests are correct, and I've got my documentation generated. Um, so I'm just going to copy and paste my original um, file. Um, I'm going to have to rewrite this, by the way. But this is just to show you what the format looks like, um, and I'll copy and paste it in here. You know, inside it has sections and um, chat. Like it's got these chapter elements. Um, these ones create the chapters. It's got uh, section elements, um, subsection. So if I just save it, um, this will now check that all 47 facts have succeeded. And it's going to take a little bit of time generating the document because. I'm using um, pigments, but yeah, the 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 whole thing. There's there's no um, everything's numbered automatically for you. So if I just add in you know a chapter, um, it will create nice looking code for me. So nice looking documentation for me. Um, now that's really about it. So. Um, the, the actual tool is called Line Midge Doc. Um, please visit my GitHub or just have a look at the main documentation. Um, it's got some more examples in the website, like for example, um, you know, this is this is how you create a paragraph. I can add uh, image images into my source file. Um, I can embed other files just using these different um, descriptors. Um, and I can add different types of code elements. So, so this will this will talk about how you can use um, facts, the facts form, um, the fact form, um, the comment form, um, and the code form. So, so all these are different types of um, sort of uh, elements that you can embed into your 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 test file um, to generate very nice looking documentation um, and yeah so I've got I've got a little rant here about uh, why we should all be doing this um, and the website is quite comprehensive so please have a look and um, I wish you all the best thank you